so what I want to show you is my sawmill trailer that a buddy and I built um, about a year ago. Me and my buddy built or bought a sawmill together, an HM122 from Woodland Mills specifically. Um, <clears throat> and the trailer to buy in at the time from Woodland Mills was, I think, 12 to $1,300. And we didn't want to spend that much. We knew we could build something just as good for much, much cheaper. So um, what I'm going to show you is our trailer that we built. We made a couple mistakes. It's not done yet. We got to kind of figure a couple things out still. But um, for the most part, it's pretty close to what it will look like when it's done. So. Um, Come on back and uh, I'll show you what we got done. So <clears throat> here is the sawmill trailer my buddy Andy and I built for the sawmill over there. Except there's a problem. The way these jacks are, we kind of built it just from looking at picks online. The way these jacks are though, they need to be lower because the carriage is going to hit them as they go as it goes down. So I need to buy a different style jack. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I think between the jacks on ours, it's like 30 inches, and this carriage sticks out 32. So it's not going to work. I'm talking from outside to outside here. Um, really just need to find a different style jack. It's not a huge deal. These jacks were, I think, $30 a piece off Amazon. I got six of them. So you can mount the track of the sawmill to the trailer and then wherever you park it you can level it with the jacks um, <clears throat> I've already got a use for four of these jacks I need one on my boat one on my manure spreader one on my corn planter and one on my yard roller the other two they'll get used so I'm not worried about having bought the jacks I just need to find something that's gonna work for this application so all this was um, my buddy bought some I think it's four by four channel it's probably eighth inch I'm not sure how thick four by four by eight they believe we had an old trailer utility trailer four by eight utility trailer that came from tractor supply years ago that we weren't using anymore we stole the axle off that shortened it up to make it the correct width for this trailer um, this channel actually came from the scrap yard my buddy was down there one day throwing a load of scrap off and they had this sitting there i think it's 10 foot sections and we welded it together in my garage which is flat enough pretty damn close and uh we bought the hitch from harbor freight welded that on had a piece of square tube four by four square two we welded that on thought about running lights on it but i don't think that's really necessary whatsoever we're probably not i mean we're not doing this for hire we're basically doing this so we can take it from his house to my house so it'll probably be on the road you know two or three times a year we're probably just going to put a triangle orange triangle on the back and call it farm equipment um but it'd be really nice to be able to move this around. And, you know, we built that temporary sawmill bed out of some pallets he had from work. And that's, you know, worked pretty decent, but it's sitting on the ground. So if the ground heaves in the winter or springtime, you really have no way of keeping this perfectly flat whereas with the trailer you could come out you know 
every day and fine tune it with a turn of those jacks and now you're back in level. So should be pretty handy. We're excited about it. Um, painted it up the other day just so I could pull it out of the garage. It's been in there for a couple months. It was on the back burner, kind of a project that uh, him and I were working on just when we had a few extra hours. Freed up some space in here and um, painted it with black rust-oleum, just oil-based black rust-oleum, your uh, typical implement black paint. Same stuff I used on my truck frame. I really like the stuff. It works, holds up good. It seems like it doesn't fade. Like if you're, uh, if you're a POR 15 and all that stuff, and it just seems to hold up really, really good. I just brushed it on real thick. Um, rolled this part, you know, the flats, and brushed everywhere else where you couldn't get with a roller. So I think it turned out pretty nice. Uh, just don't make the same mistake we did. Had to get some lower jacks that don't stick up past your, your bed here. So hopefully uh, you look at this and can build your own and like I said, learn from my mistake. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.